Hi, it's me again with laser tips and tricks, and I just went out to the shop this morning and ran this 3D that I somebody sent me, and the details are incredible. And I've been doing a lot of work with 3D lately. I'm fortunate enough to have a fusion, uh, Epilog Fusion laser. It's 65 watts. I ran this job at five speed at 100 power. Now, this takes forever. This is probably four inches tall. It took about 30 minutes to run. But a couple of things I've learned by doing this. Number one, I'd use bottom-up engraving all the time on everything for many reasons. But this is a very good scenario because you're not getting smoke residue on your newly engraved parts because your smoke is going that away. And I also, and I don't know if all lasers are equal, but I was able to, to turn on the air assist while engraving, while in, in raster mode. And that helped with flame up because five speed is really slow. It's really hot. I mean, in one pass, I probably went, you know, a quarter of an inch down in some of these spots. It's just incredible. Now, it's going to turn it all black because of the sap of the wood. Now, this is a piece of hard maple. It'll work with any wood, I think. Uh, maybe even softer wood like a, uh, well, I'm not even going to go there, but a softer wood might work a little bit better. But the harder wood is going to give you a little more maybe crispness and detail. And I put it in my sandblasting cabinet and in about less than five seconds, I was able to sandblast all the burn residue out. Now, if you do not have a sandblasting cabinet, Harbor Freight, you can buy one. And I actually own one of these when I want to sandblast just a little spot on metal or anything. For 20 bucks, you can get a gravity-fed sandblaster. You could use any kind of sand. Um, they sell a lot of blasting sands, but you're going to be doing this outside. So you want to use a, um, you know, you don't want to use aluminum oxide like I use in the cabinet. But the detail on this is so unreal that you can even read the text and look at these little stars and shells and, and details. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching.